Now we're going to show you a little bit more about the Giraffe Tool Grand Falls Pressure Washer, the Pro Max 3300 PSI. This was gifted to us. We showed you the unboxing. We hung it now, which was very simple. Okay, so we are going to mount this right here on this section of the wall. They want you to keep it off the ground about 25 to 30 inches, so we're, we're well above that, but it'll be nice to keep it out of the way so it's protected and not get hit by anything. Also, we are close to a water source and we are close to an electrical source. Let's basically hang a plate back here and the machine just slides right down onto the plate. It's kind of foolproof. So just a few things about it. We hooked up our water source, we've plugged it in, okay? This thing has got a soap dispenser right here for car wash soap. That stays right here. Everything is pretty much packed away on it. Your nozzle hangs right here on the other side. This is what's so nice about it. It's up off the ground, it's out of your way. Once you, you can leave this connected too if you want to. I just chose to disconnect it and then show you how easy it is to reconnect. We, here's the pressure washer gun. Uh, that comes with it. As you can see, it's got a holder for all your nozzles. Just plug those into there. Comes with four different degrees. You got a holder for it right here. Everything's locked into place. We're going to use the 25 because we don't, we're try, just trying to wash things off. We don't want to rip any paint or anything off. As you know, as you get into the less uh, degrees, the stronger the nozzle gets. So, as you can see, you heard the pump turn on the minute I started it. The minute I stop it, it stops. Say we do want to get a little bit stronger on the wheels themselves. We change our nozzles. Go from the 25. Oh, let's go to the zero. There you go. This is a little bit stronger. We'll pinpoint the clean butter. Get that mud off of there. Off the wheels, the tires themselves. Look at that. Take that big head off of it. change it again look like I said this is very nice you can put your nozzles right there they're always at your fingertips this is great we're gonna do the floor we put a heavier nozzle on because the floor is pretty dirty and this thing's got 3300 psi of pressure Look at that, 3,300 PSI, look how it's taking the oil off of there. All the dirt, grime, cement powder, cleaning it off beautifully. four nozzles they all are right there at your fingertips if you want them it's very nice just pull it right out of there and load it right in you want to switch nozzles put that one away or a different one mount it the uh, 100 foot hose high pressure hose it comes out you can lock it at any point in time where you want to. You need five feet, 
10 feet, whatever you want. Now there are locking points. You have to find the locking point. You're not going very far before you find another locking point. You can actually feel the thing click. And once you feel that click, you'll know you're at a new locking point. So then when you want to put it away, pull it and slowly guide it back in. It winds itself back up. So we had turned it on before just to show you the fact that when it's on, which is the on switch is on the side here, when it's on, it's loading up. If you're not using it, it shuts itself down to save on electricity, on usage of the machine and everything. The minute you press the button, it goes back on shuts off. So that's awesome. You don't have to worry about the fact that it's sitting there always running. In a commercial situation, it's perfect for a garage. Once we mounted it, we made it so that it was accessible to everything that we need to wash right outside the door. Also, it will reach any spots on the floor we want to wash. 100 feet, it'll reach all the way towards the middle of the garage. I highly recommend this in a commercial situation or even in a home situation.